Or there's a view of the lagoon right there and the creek coming out. Here we are right into the longboards right here. Here's Taylor Jensen from the USA on our great little wave surf. Excellent all day today. Look at the spray he's throwing off of that board. Doing a great job. Taylor Jensen right up on the nose. Made us all proud today from America. But it was Tony Silvani that really sticks out, the gold medalist. But right now, let's talk about Taylor Jensen flying around on that Firewire longboarder. And right now, here's the man from France, Del Poro, on a great wave as well, banking it off. That was a big score for him, as you see the excitement coming off of his head. Here we go to Harley Ingleby. He also did a great job. This guy got more nines in the event, I believe, than anyone. This guy is a phenomenal surfer, does a great job of doing state-of-the-art longboarding and combining it with old-school walking and posing. Great work right there for Harley Ingleby. Check them all out. And all these next couple of clips are of Harley busting airs, getting really nice tail releases. He maneuvers that board really, really well. Now here is the champion the U from the USA, Tony Salvani, Gary Linden's boy, right here banking it up off the top. This is a great, great day for Tony Salvani. You could see when he was in his interview how stoked he was talking about the surf camp. It sounds like he teaches beginners all day long, so that's really a, really a cool thing. Always like to be helping out the new school surfing. And right here again, Tony Salvani. Check him whip this thing up over this floater. He talked about nearly breaking his board. Thought his board was going to buckle on that. I saw him talking to Ian Cairns after that. But this is all Salvani's day today as he got wave after wave. He was part of every winning heat today. He did not go in the loser's bracket at all and ended up taking the title for USA. Well, was, uh, you can see there the style that won him that gold medal, it was a combination of uh, old school like that, very, very difficult to balance the board, standing ten toes over, and then the modern, the sweeping cutbacks, the re-entries, the floaters, and uh, it was a great moment for him. Yeah, and here's down into the women's. This is our Peruvian surfer, Sofia Milanovic, getting a couple of great ways, banks it up off the top right there. I really like how she released her tail, and then she gets great rare work as she banks it back up into the whitewater. This was one of her big scores early on in the heat. She was looking really, really solid until Bullard got her last couple of waves. Here we go right here. She's going to bank it the other. This is actually a little wave where she wobbles, a little blurb right there. Nice little turn but unfortunately wasn't able to capitalize on that section. And here's another wave of Sophia as well. Great work right there. Looks like the Channel Islands is working really good. Now here is the girl right here, Ballard from France. Great work. The junior champion, now the open women's champion. A bunch of nice repetitive turns right up in the pocket. Great routine surfing right there and banks it off the top. And this is another one of her big scores. This was a big, I think a 7.5 or an 8. And this is her big wave right here in the final where she really nailed down the win blasting it up off the top right there. Great wave for her. As you can see, all of France on the beach right now. Here's Dimity right here from Australia. She did a great job today as well, surfing really solid, really fast. As you can see, her board throwing up a lot of nice spray. But this was the women and the surprise of the event, I thought, were losing early was Silvana Lima from Brazil. She got a 10, the only unanimous 10 of the whole event, a big, huge aerial. And this right here, Mick Campbell, the shredder, the Ginger Ninja, Ginger Ninja right there <laughs> blowing his tail out. But Mick Campbell, it was shredding in this final. All three of these guys, Thomas Woods, Mick Campbell, and the winner, Santiago Moniz, all had big eights, nearly came down to the end of it as Gouveia ended up getting a big score. But this is a great wave. Check him out how he's able to pop off the top as that wave goes vertical. He does a great job of maintaining the lip. Here's a great little wave, great silhouette shot as he slices it around. Check this last maneuver right here. Really like it. it's a three quarters of a carve down and a punch at the same time. Great release right there. Great surfing by Mick Campbell. Well, this is the boy right here, the 18 year old from Australia, Thomas Woods, could throw an aerial 360 on anything that he is moving at. He does a couple right here. Well, check this out, boys and girls. He does like three of them in a row. Look at that pirouetting on the nose of his board, literally doing a hang five. Here's another one. And believe me, these are all different aerials that he did throughout the day. The judges might have started to say, hey, look, maybe mix it up a little. You got that thing down. Um, but shoots, if I ever do one, believe me, I hope it's captured on video and still footage. But right here, here's Rodriguez. The Brazilian did an incredible job of slicing this little wave up. Check the tail release right here. Blam, does a great job. And he actually gets, a, I believe, an aerial at the end of this wave, comes in 
Look at how gutless that wave is right there, Fuley, as he blasts off the top again. An aerial 360 on nothing. He's got great board control. That is a carve of his contest right there. I really thought Rodriguez right there did a great job of showing a variety after carving that. He blows his tail out. Most likely he's going to do an aerial 360 at the end of this too because that's what he does <laughs> on, every, on every wave. Here he is again throwing a nice loft. This guy is something else, really. Tons of board control. Was surprised to see Ruta Calvaro lose early, and this man stay alive as he did a great job for Brazil. Look at that seamless first maneuver rotation right there. He did that at the start of the wave, something you see on the World Tour events, little drop wall at turn right there. But he did a great job of just maintaining flow. Every wave, he tries to get a nice ending on it, and he sure does. Now check this out. This is Ian Gouveia, the Brazilian. Really solid as he slices all the way around on this little backlit wave. Nearly looks like he's on a point break. I'm sure uh, his father's got to be pretty proud of him today coming in in a medal contending. Nice little double up right here. You know, I, I saw him teleporting this last little turn right here. He does a nice little turn and then slices a beautiful high impact rotation right on the sand. Check this out, folks. Wham! And pirouettes right around his front foot. Me and Gary Linden are blown away by how easy these guys loft into the air. And once again, here's Gouvet on his backside looking really tight, really poised. So it's really mature for a young man. Check this out. This is what he does on anything. Frontside grab, rotation. He seems to have that maneuver on lock. And this right here, this is the men's champion, Santiago Moniz from Argentina, lighting this little wave up right here. Really sort of a soft wave as he gets sort of slicing around. He did a great job of maintaining the lead in this final. There was three people with eights right there. He just happened to have the highest eights. So good job for Santiago Muniz from Argentina. This was an 8.5, I believe, getting a bunch of nice snaps, tons of little hits right there. This was the big score right here in the final, I believe. Check this out, slam. This one we were on break, we saw the replay of it. Wham, he started really going fast. It looked like he put it into another gear. His board was going really fast. As you see, all of Argentina right there, hooting and chanting.